Hey everyone, it is Tuesday and for today I kind of had a question. I kind of want to start some conversation because I'm needing a little bit of suggestions. How do you handle nap time? Um, they are two years old. Sometimes they nap and sometimes they don't. But I feel like I'm struggling with kind of how to do it. If that makes sense, like what some good suggestions of how to get on to lay down and not play or scream or talk or any of that. Um, and actually take a nap because they're exhausted. Like today they're exhausted and they're yawning and yawning, rubbing their eyes, but they just won't go to sleep. So if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Any suggestions of what you've heard other people do or what you do yourself with your children if you have children or nieces and nephews if whatever. Leave your suggestions below because I'm really needing some suggestions because I don't know what to do. Because sometimes they need a nap and I can tell they need a nap because if they don't get a nap, they're grouchy, grouchy, grouchy in the evening time. And there's so many more arguments and fights between them two because they're tired. Um, so, if you have any suggestions, I've been doing tons of research and trying to find stuff. But if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below and I would love, love any suggestions that anyone has. Thanks, guys. Hey, everyone. It is, what day is it? Saturday. I didn't update yesterday. Um, the kids didn't have their follow-up doctor's appointment. And it went relatively good. I had to do a couple more vaccines for a little man. And then um, I had to prick their fingers again. Check their iron to see how it was doing. It was actually a little bit worse than last time. Even though we've been doing steps to try to help it. So they're going to go ahead and put them on a vitamin for it and yeah that's what we did yesterday with the doctor their weight's up which is good um so they're growing which they really needed to so that's good that they are I'm exhausted right now because I thought it was a little bit of a rough night um it wasn't like terrible terrible but it was a little rough so Got up multiple times and just tired. Just been kind of tired all morning. And so have the kids been tired all morning. And they're actually both. It is. I don't even know what time it is. Like one something. And they're actually both asleep. Which rarely happens. They actually both go to sleep. And they're both asleep. So that means I get to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to try to take a little bit of a nap. Not too long. Because if I take long naps. In general I just. I wake up not feeling good. So. But I thought I'd do a little quick update from the doctor's appointment yesterday. Um, we also had a home visit afterward, but it was real short. It was just her coming in, you know, seeing the rooms and stuff and seeing stuff. Just doing the check-ins like she has to. But I am going to try to take a nap. Because the house is clean and I've ate lunch and the kids are sleeping and... I think a nap is in store for today because I am exhausted. <laughs> oh, but I will catch y'all later. I'm not sure what we're doing today. Because Seth had to work overtime. So it's just me and the kids. And yeah. I think I might take them to go play later at the playground at McDonald's because. Oh, <laughs> It's the only one we have around here that's like inside play area. So I think I may take them there because they have some free ice cream they got from a person at the library um, where we go to the library. The library has like events and stuff for toddlers and we went to that and someone gave them an ice cream free. So I may go get them an ice cream after supper or something and let them go play when Seth gets home. But I feel like I'm rambling now. I'm going to try to take a nap. Oh, man. I'm going to try to take a nap because I'm tired. <laughs> and I'll see y'all later. Hey, everyone. It is... What day of the week is it? I feel like I've failed, failed, failed. 
of vlogging. It is Tuesday. <laughs> I feel like this vlog is longer than a week because I haven't done anything but set up the house. But um, when I did my last update, I talked about the Dr. Shelley Men stuff. And one thing I forgot to say was something that I've been stressing the most about, it, which is their hair. <laughs> and I mean, I'm stressed about a lot of stuff, but the thing that I can't, I'm trying my best to control that I was afraid wasn't going to be okay. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what I'm doing, but the caseworker said their hair looked great. And that was a big, big sigh of relief, especially after facing the confrontation that we faced out in public about them and us and everything. Um, but yes, I was very excited about that. Um, today, Seth is actually after work. Um, and we actually had a big meeting today, kind of, it was supposed to be a big meeting, I was kind of confused by it, but it wasn't quite what I expected. But I did find out that there is a possibility that they could be going home by next weekend. Um, it's not like 100% yet, but there is a possibility. Which, yeah. We're still kind of trying to process that thought, but it would have been nice if we'd known at the time that other ones known, but we just now found out today, so, yeah. But I don't know if everyone knew that yet, so, but we found that out today, which really stinks, but at the same time, I'd rather them all be together, and that's, you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain the feeling sad for the loss but at the same time that's what is best for families to be together um but we don't know still yet if that's going to happen or not but even if it doesn't happen then there's a possibility it could happen at the end of the month um through different circumstances <laughs> so we're getting ourselves kind of prepared for that possibility that it's probably not going to be as long term as what we had hoped for um, when we did sign up, we signed up for the hopes of adoption, and, um, our caseworker did know that, and wasn't supposed to place us with kids that was not kind of the plan was for longevity, if that makes sense. I mean, they can't plan it, but I think circumstances happen, and, which is good. Like, I mean, that is good. Like, that's, that's what foster care is for, but... That kind of, you know, it's not really the happiest sometimes thoughts that you're going to be losing them. But we're still waiting to see what happens and at a moment's notice may have to uproot them again and get them somewhere with family, which is the goal of foster care. But also the thing with foster care is unknowns and... Definitely, definitely, definitely experienced the unknowns, but I thought I'd update that because that was something that just happened today. Um, my sister watched them during the meeting and Seth took off work for the meeting because it was supposed to be a big deal, <sighs> which I guess it was a big deal, but yeah. I've already cried multiple times over it and we're just now settling down. I just filmed a video for it looks like. I'm in their bedroom. It's because I filmed a video in here. <laughs> but it should be up. It'll probably be up before this one, honestly. Maybe not. Maybe I'll put this one up. This one just has a bunch of me just standing in front of the camera and talking. But it is what it is. Because we haven't done anything. <laughs> We've just been hanging out at the house. And then the day that we did we go somewhere, I forgot my camera. So, yeah. Sorry, YouTube world. <laughs> Didn't get the vlogging done like I should this week. I say that every time I vlog. I don't think I'm one of, I don't think I'm a grade A vlogger for sure. Maybe a D minus. But the kids are playing and I'm gonna go join them because Seth is actually off work and so we can all play and stuff together. I may take them out, go somewhere, I don't know. But yeah. I guess I am going to end this vlog here because I've got quite a few clips of me just sitting there talking to the camera uh, that just need to get off my phone. <laughs> so I guess that I will see y'all the next time that I pick up my camera. 
I guess I'll see myself, you know, see the phone, whatever. But I will see y'all in my next vlog. Bye.